Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. I'm going to use this segment to again address some questions that have been coming in relative to the weather and closures and delays. Uh, and I used the segment earlier this year to do this, but I figured I'd do it again because the questions keep coming in. Um, one question that um, continues to, I can continue to receive even from friends and neighbors at you know, the grocery store or whatever. I said, gee, I can't believe you all closed that day just because it was cold. Well, please understand, when it, it gets that cold and the National Weather Service issues an advisory or warning talking about, you know, bitterly cold temperatures or dangerously cold temperatures, that gets our attention for a few reasons. Not just the student safety piece, which is the most important piece, but uh, things related to that like buses. Uh, when it's bitterly cold like that, even if the bus was running the previous day, in many instances, 30 after break, for example, after winter break, there are 30 buses at wouldn't start, uh, it creates a real hardship because we don't have a lot of extra buses. So if buses don't start, and many drivers keep their buses or drive their buses home, buses won't start, it can create a real problem. If kids are standing out in, you know, minus 5, minus 10 degrees wind chill, standing waiting for the bus to arrive, that's 20, 30 minutes late, that's a real problem, especially if the parent maybe doesn't have the app whereby it shows, you know, what, where, when the late buses are, uh, which buses are late, when they're scheduled to arrive, etc. That creates a real problem, a safety issue. Uh, the second has to do with the, the schools and, and heating the schools. Um, believe it or not, schools built in the south or southeast, they're, they're they equipped differently in terms of um, their heating mechanism slash furnace. You know, they don't have the same sort of equipment that they have in upstate New York. It's it's different. And for example, recently we you know had a, a spat of some really cold weather and many of our schools had a real difficult time being heated. So when that day came up, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, whenever it was exactly, and it was gonna be, you know, I think it was the morning in, in my neighborhood was minus 10 with the wind chill. And it wasn't going to get above, um, I don't know, I forget what it was, low teens. And, you know, the sun wasn't going to come out. That creates a real problem and in terms of our ability to heat schools. And um, not a whole lot we can do about it, but um, it is a problem. So I wanted to make sure people understand that it's, just, it's more than just it's cold and we wanted to keep, you know, keep the kids in. It's, it's, there's a series of it, issues that pop up as a result. Second. Delays. I got this question. Uh, I've received this question. Um, these questions, you know, and it's ironic to me that I'll get questions like, geez, why did you do a two hour delay? We could have gone to school on time today. What's the problem? And five minutes later, I'll get, we should have closed school today. What are you crazy? So, you know, I usually get hit on both ends, which is fine. It comes with the territory. But, you know, the, the, a lot of that stuff, you know, I get it. But in the end, at the end of the day, I'm going to make the decision that's best for. Our school division, and frankly, I don't care what Prince William or Culpepper or our staff, or I don't what they're, I don't, I don't really care what they're doing. I'm, I, what I'm interested in is Fauquier County. What's going on in Fauquier? So students love to tell me as you know, as soon as Prince William closed, Prince William is closed. I don't care if Prince William is closed. I mean, I do care. I'm, I'm paying attention, but it's not going to determine what I do in Fauquier County because I'm concerned about what's going on in Fauquier County. Next. Um, in terms of the delays, you know, I get got this question: Why do you wait so long to announce a delay? Well, the reason I wait to announce a delay is because I don't want to change the decision once it's made. When we're not sure about, you know, on time versus two-hour delay versus not going at all, you know, I'm going to wait because I don't want to change the decision once it's been made. So I'll make if we announce a two-hour delay at five in the morning. I, I don't want to come back at 7 in the morning and say, eh, you know, we're closed. That puts parents oftentimes in a very difficult spot, and I, I don't like to do that. But the converse of that is, I like if I know if we're going to close, I'll, I'll make the announcement as soon as I can. And we're often the very first to make the announcement, which my colleagues around the region have a lot of fun with. But, you know, if I know we're going to close, I'm going to announce it as soon as we can. A lot of folks don't do that. I do. Um, next, um, and lastly, um, one of the questions I received is, um, you know, why, why would you delay 
by a couple of hours because the temperature at 9 is going to be the same in, in a recent instance. The temperature at 9 is going to be the same as it was at 7. So what's the purpose of, of doing the delay? Well, in many instances, there's a tremendous benefit to the drivers being able to see the road that they're driving on. 95% of the roads in Falcon County don't have lights. And if you travel the back roads like I do, you know, they're not exactly uh, ideal for bus travel to begin with. Drivers need, to, it's very helpful for the drivers to be able to see the road that they're traveling on. And a two hour delay oftentimes helps accomplish that. And in some instances, that's one of the driving factors behind doing a, a delay is, you know, it's going to give the drivers, roads are eh, maybe a little iffy. Let's give the drivers the opportunity to be able to see the roads, you know, period. So there's, I mean, there are other things that go into that decision, but that's when that kind of gets lost in the sauce is, you know, what, what the drivers are experiencing. But, and I'll say this in conclusion, you know, if I, I hear from parents, anytime there's a decision about a delay or, you know, coming back from a snowstorm or something about, you know, I don't feel, I, you know, I don't feel that my child is, my child shouldn't be on the roads, period. My, it's too safe, un, too unsafe. Um, I, I don't want them riding a bus. I don't want them to drive their car. I don't feel safe getting out of my house and driving to school. You know what? As a parent, that is your decision. You can keep your child home. You will not be penalized. Uh, uh, principals understand this completely. If you don't feel safe, it's safe to get out on the road or put your child out on the road, keep them at home. That's your choice. You're not going to be penalized for it. Um, so I want to be really clear about that. We say that every year, but I want to make sure you know parents understand that. So hope this has been helpful to you and uh, here's to a great 2008 thank 2018 thank you